Logano. Well, a good Sunday afternoon here in Southwest Louisiana, and yes, let's start with some good news first. It's been a very nice Sunday in early September. Take a look at this. We have a temperature of 86 degrees at the Lake Charles Regional Airport. Very dry air with the dew point of 60 degrees and still a breezy northeasterly wind so far today. So hopefully everybody's had a chance to go outside and enjoy it. Right now, the rest of our temperatures generally range from 81 degrees in Fort Johnson to 86 again at the Lake Charles Regional Airport. So things are going to remain warm this evening. Once the sun goes down though, of course, yeah, things are going to begin to cool. In fact, take a look at this. So we wake up tomorrow morning, we should see temperatures range from the low to mid 60s, and I would not be shocked for a few areas north of I-10 to see some upper 50s provided the wind can calm down enough. So it's going to be a nice start to the day out uh, to get ready for your day to work in school and no weather related issues are expected. And the rest of our Monday still looks pretty nice. We'll have temperatures warm up quickly. Should be back into the mid 80s, maybe upper 80s in a few spots. But humidity, I think, stays manageable for at least one more day. And we're not expecting any sort of rain really tomorrow. Maybe a stray shower closer to the coastline. But that's about it. Now, of course, rain chances are going to go up by the middle part of the week, by Tuesday and Wednesday. And yeah, as we talked about before, that has to do with the tropics and what will be Tropical Storm Francine. Now, it has not become a tropical storm yet. The hurricane hunters went out to fly into this area of disturbed weather earlier this afternoon and found that the system still lacks a well-defined center. That's some good news. Whenever you have that happen, models tend to struggle with the finer details of track and intensity until it does develop that center. Nevertheless, though, it does have a very high likelihood of becoming Francine probably within the next 12 hours or so, maybe sooner, definitely by Monday. And yeah, it will continue on a northerly track and then eventually northeastward track as it begins to be picked up by an upper level low pressure system. Now, of course, unfortunately, that does mean it is pretty likely to move towards Louisiana and you'll see a lot of these tracks clustered pretty close to southwest Louisiana. With that being said, there's still a lot of spread which will determine just how many direct, direct impacts we see. You'll notice these tracks, they range anywhere from the Texas coastline to New Orleans all the way off to the east. I also want to say here, and it's worth noting, that the exact track will also have implications on its intensity. If it does stay farther off to the west near the Texas coastline, Interaction with land and likely some wind shear would help to keep that more disorganized and on the weaker side of things. That's some good news. With that being said, though, a track farther to the east on the eastern edge of this would allow more time for intensification, maybe more so than the official forecast shows here. So for that reason, we're going to have to continue to keep a very close eye on this. Of course, we'll continue to be here and provide with you updates as we get closer. No doubt about it, we're at least expecting some heavier rainfall. I'll step aside for just a second. You'll notice here though that I do think a general three to six inches of rain are likely both by, by Wednesday and Thursday, maybe more than that. So rain definitely looking like the biggest issue right now. With that being said though, we'll continue to keep a very close eye on all of these and we'll keep you updated here as we head into the next few days. So stick with us and continue to, we'll continue to keep you updated. We'll have more details coming up later, but for now though, we will take to turn back though and give you more news after the break.